Shut up! <laughs> <coughs> anyway. Hello, my Disney friends. This is Beaky Fan 1909, and I'm back with my friend Oliver Featherwing. Hello! To Let's Play Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures Episode 3 Muzzled. Yep, yep now we're at the home there. Having a yeah. Day out. yeah, last time we had a spot of bother with the three pups stealing. <laughs> SHUT YOU um. As I was saying, a spot of bother with three three strays stealing the crank and the lever from the... Yeah. Stealing parts from our late, latest invention, the, the Infinity Flavor Ice Cream Custom Flavor Making Machine. Yep. Yeah. And now we are introduced to Motty Muzzle. And we had a quick little while before down. we. Shut up! <laughs> quick little while before. Him. Before we ended off. Yeah, I made you come, wouldn't even be quiet. Yeah. When we were ending it. Yes, you're right. I know he's enjoying the ride, but it's very important. 195, 190. Oh, bother, I've lost count now. Trouble counting? Hello, Gromit. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just ever so keen to win. I had a crack at those prize. games I had, Mickey. Normally I'm very yeah. skilled at counting. Yeah, just, in just have a crack at so it, just have a go. The money goes anyway to special success. something. I've entered yeah. 12 guesses already, and I know it's for charity and all, but these tickets don't come cheap. I'm back to counting if you don't mind. Alright, alright. Oh, yeah, I remember something. Um, Back in the Midsummer Fair, um, in my, in my town, before the virus end, before the virus started. Yes. Um, last year, um, there was, there was a donation, have a pick a wine thing. Um, yeah. The money does go to the charity as well. I think it was Shut Age up. UK. I, I think it was Age UK, and they had these bags over these bottles. If it was empty, you, that you wouldn't get anything. But if it's a full one, you can go home and you can keep it. But the, ah. If you win or lose, the money goes to charity anyway, so I just pick randomly and it was a full bottle. I see. Yeah, I can't believe it. I just picked, it, picked the right one. Yeah. I think I won two. I think I won two or one, I can't remember. <laughs> Major! Oh. Yeah, it was a good time that was, and picked yeah. it randomly. Either two or three or one. Right then, speaking of which, shall we ever go with this? I've been my tallies on the back of this flyer for hours, Robert. It's not leaving my sight until I've a grand prize in my hands. All right. All right. Well, let's just have a crack at it just to get it. Yeah, just, yeah. I think a little teamwork is... Those tickets, they look like the same. Yeah. You have a go. Yeah. From, From the Back to the Future game. Yeah, they do. Nine nine two. Yeah, because. All right. Because I've seen so many walkthroughs, so. Right. Are yeah. you sure? Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's got to okay. be. Okay. Okay. All right, Gromit. Seems as good a guess as any. No. Oh, crumbs. Well, good try anyway, I suppose. I think I might mm -hmm. have miscounted. Yeah. I I... Well, I said a guess earlier. It was 292, didn't I? I don't think... Well, I just, just so busy want to get this whole damn thing over with. You know how it is. Yeah, let's try this one. That seemed like it could almost be right, Gromit. Cross your toes, lad. These are the last of the tickets. Congratulations. I was right. Oh, yes. You are the winner of a I was right. That's why I thought. Prize. 
I had we did it. You fought. We won, Gromit. Well, I've seen somebody walk first. Don't get off. Congratulations, sir. Very well done. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Mozart. All right, just Quite don't get all judgy with me, okay? All right, all right. What's the grand and fantabulous prize then, Mr. Mozart? I must say I can't wait to see what I won. Yes, well, um, yeah, just as it's always better to give than receive, um, no, I, know I say you, the but... satisfaction of your triumph, plus our undying gratitude for the charitable donation you've made towards our noble cause, our prizes in and of and um, by themselves, wouldn't you say, Mr. Panier? Chuck. Well, mm. all very well, but I thought prizes that last a lifetime. Up here, and in here. But, but, but what the sign says? Oh, quit belly aching your big girl's blouse. <laughs> oh, um, it's hardly fitting for a gentleman such as yourself. Here, have a blinking bubblegum ball. Oh, is that it? But, oh, all right. And one is that it? as well. Just a bubblegum. Well, I want a couple of bottles of wine, you know. In a in a in the red sub affair, that's just oh, if I if I was given a bubble gum bowl, I wanted my money back. Likewise, save the dogs. Help. Hmm. We need two more to solve the clue. Take care. Oh, um, uh, Mr. Peter's not very happy. Uh, should we go into town? Yeah, let's have a. Yeah, I don't see why not, really. Oh, blues! Ah, you goochie goos, you! Oh. Ah, the mm. missus says I need more mates, does she? <laughs> well, I've got the birds in sky and bugs on sill to keep me company. You won't find oh. me making up numbers at some flipping fair. Good, because you're not invited. Here, yeah, birdie, come to Papa Gabbley. Yeah. That might come in handy, but should we get yeah. a balloon? Yeah. Because it's free. Free, yeah? I'd fancy yeah. that. Hmm. Go! Go! Let's grab Yoink. that. Now, where to next? Back to the fair? Uh, yes. Th yeah, should thank we get you very much. Should we give Mr. Penny that balloon to cheer him up? I don't see why not, Oliver. I don't really fancy chewing gum. Maybe. But what about this? Why, thank you. Not quite a grand prize, but one has to appreciate the simple things in life. Uh, oh. oh. Oh, well. Damn it. Have we, have we still got it? We have. Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah. They just don't make men the way they used to. Except for Mr. Muzzle, of course. Oh? Hmm. What's it? Yeah. Banking contest? Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's about this whole thing, perhaps. Yeah. Disgusting. What, what sort of pies is he eating? Let's have a look at him. Yeah. Strawberry rhubarb with cream. Uh, not a terrible texture, but a horrendous pie. Oh, yeah. Well, he's, well, he said he's not, it's not a, ter not a terrible taste. What an horrible old shrew she was. Texture, Always force-feeding. Oh, yeah, texture, whatever. Oh, good heavens. What rotten memories. What else is, what else is there? What do we have here? Oh, yes. Apple crisp a la mode. Oh. An old standard. Apple crisp. Alone wants to make me rich. Of course, me old dad, on the odd occasions he was home, would always demand an apple crisp. Reminds me of the manky old devil's musk. Couldn't get far enough away from him, if you must know. May he rot in peace. 
Oh dear. Yeah. He had not, he had a bit of a bad life when he was a kid. Yeah, yeah, he did. Was that kidney pie? Just yeah, like he doesn't like kidney. To feed us during my national service. Not even kidney beans. Right. Those were terrible times. What's this one? Another type of apple crisp. Another Have apple crisp. Have any culinary creativity around here? I want someone to tickle me fancy, not torture me taste buds. <laughs> so, what's this one? Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what was that mince pie? Mince pie? That was supposed to What sort of mince? There's two sort of mince. Channel crossing. Yeah. The mince that pie for December time and the other the sort of mince. Never pass my lips again. Yeah. Which one does he mean? The... I don't know. Blueberry. Blue. Blueberry. Oh, why not just fill a loaf of bread with mouldy jam and call it a day? Ugh. That last blueberry I ate was force fed to me by the local bully, Archibald Pennycott, when I was ten years old. And I've sworn them off ever since. Oh dear. Yeah. Now what else is... Damn. Oh, we're back to the beginning, you're right. Right, then, um, I saw a game over there, near, was, near Wallace. Do you ever go? Oh, yeah, the game of Nords and Quasts. Should we have a go? Yeah, but I've got a feeling about this sort of chicken. Yeah. Not like... Shut up! Not like any <laughs> other chickens. Right. This one, apparently, has got the brains. I bet. A chicken with brains? I might see that try. Alright, but if. Alright, but don't expect karma to strike. Right. Don't be... But don't expect to take that back when. Be quiet, Major! Oh. Be quiet. But don't expect Thank me you. to let you take it back. Take what you said back when karma strikes. Right. A goldfish. A goldfish. Hmm. Hmm. That block it, Mickey. Oh. See what I mean? Oh, yeah. Hang on, that not bird so, seed with not, the cheat. Think not so smart, hey, Oliver? Think that chicken's not so smart, eh? I, I take it back. <laughs> That's what I thought. Anyway, let's, um... I know every bit of that because I've seen everything. Right. But nothing but a bit of bird seed can't handle. Right, where are you going to go? A little chick will muck up. Oh, our chick will mock up. Yeah. There we go. Go. There we go, little goldfish. Right then. Yeah. Oh, I'm just thinking. We're at the fair, and I think we should give the constable some ice cream. Hmm. I think. Oh yes, of course. Sir. There you go, Bobby. There you are. <laughs> the camera. There you go. Camera, uh, what about the bubble gum? Uh, First, yeah. Yeah. That could be a confectionery delight. 
and Chewy to boot. <laughs> yeah. Bubblegum flavored ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that's a fast honor who can like that. Right, let's head into town. Yeah. We're just going to do a little something. Hello. You <laughs> he sounds a bit disappointed. Should have been there myself, but that sergeant's got me out on patrol. Not that much oh. doing in town. Still, better get on. I'm on duty. Oh, he sounds a bit disappointed. Flipping Nora! Not sure Left how much towns, more perhaps. of this I can stand. Mr. Bonilla said that there's even a ride. A proper ride, and here I am stuck on blinking duty all day. Not blooming fair, it's not. Jeez, calm down. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Lost me head there for a moment. Forgot I were on duty. Let's get back to work. Alright then, we got you something by the way. Well, yeah, we have actually. Brought me an ice cream from the fair, did you? Yeah, we did. Well, that's ever so thoughtful of you. And I'm particularly partial to a spot of dairy ice cream, so I'll take it. Just don't tell the sergeant. Well, I don't know where he is, though. That's not half bad. And you can get this at the fair. Yeah. Curses! It's rotten bad luck having to stand here all day on duty protecting nothing while everyone else is enjoying treats like this. Yeah. Let's give it some more, shall we? We've got some, we've got some more ingredients, haven't we? Yeah. Well, there's a there's a little thing we can create something it create something with an ice cream, can't we? Oh. Yeah, you just make an ice cream, random, just like pick any ingredients, picky, and pop it in. I get it. The bird seed. Yeah. Do you fancy a cone, Gromit? Bird yeah, seed ice cream. Mm, looks distinctly crunchy, lad. Still. Could be an interesting flavour. Well, I wonder what would it taste like? A bird sea flavour. And put the ice cream back in the put the ice cream thing in the other thing in the thing again. Alright, I will one second. Oh, Major. Hmm. Now, isn't that something? I wonder what it would taste like. Beats the me. last time we tried to make a copy of a copy, we were up to our eyeballs in foul tasting fig pudding. <laughs> by all means, have a go. <laughs> well, I never tasted an ice cream flavored ice cream myself, but, but I'm wondering. That's it, a clone for a clone. That's one of the achievements. It was, yeah. Let's go deliver it to. Let's go deliver it to. Um, let's go deliver it. Hey, you can one? have one. <laughs> you can only have one ice cream at a time. So you're telling me? What is this? Yes. Oh, you're telling me? <sighs> With a hint of dirt and diesel. <laughs> Don't come back if you haven't a worthy entry. Bailey, anyway, you're telling me that? Chewing gum. <laughs> you're telling me? <laughs> Sorry. Sato had, really... had to go to and fro every time for just <laughs> to give contact <laughs> with an ice cream. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, we get to the side of the game. Come on. Don't oh. blame me. Blame the game. We got more stuff for you. Yes. Ah, more ice cream. 
Here's one solid citizen who actually cares about the well-being of a public servant. Blimey, Charlie. Don't know how to describe this cone. It tastes like ice cream, but at the same time it tastes like, uh, nout. Like some foul attempt at recreating ice cream, but getting a little topsy-turvy. <laughs> Well, now we can do to taste that flavour ice cream myself. Well, now we can do the bird seed one. Yes, just two of well, two of well. That's all I'll be capable of. <laughs> <sighs> and maybe after we done, after gifting constable quite a few um. Looks distinctly crunchy, lad. Still, could be an interesting flavour. Yes, 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 yes. Now get over it. There we go. Now, now <laughs> we get an orange oh, ice cream, that's eh? Just offensive, that is. Yes. Let's. I know what we could put in cinnamon sticks. A cinnamon ice cream. Hello. There you are. Here you are, comfortable. Ah, more ice cream. Here's one solid citizen who actually cares about the well-being of a public servant. What flavour's this? Oh, I thought of a title it's already for the video. Crunchy. What? It's not some kind of elf. Ice cream rubbish, for Constable it? Dibbins. They're trying to hand this out <laughs> at the fair. Because we're going to give him loads of ice cream. Just to treat him. Just to, we're treating him because he's missing out. Yeah. I know he try, is, the, try the fish. Fish flavoured ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to make. We're going to have this achievement, what we're trying to get. Hello, Gromit. I know, but... Did you say the rooster in there? Uh, I don't yeah, think that would taste very good, would it, lad? I mean, fish flavored ice cream? Who ever heard of such a thing? Yeah, I mean, Unless I've seen this one shot that you, did uh, happen in one episode. You haven't so, made but... a new feline friend, have you, perchance? <sighs> oh, well. I just uh, don't know if it's. Yes, then. Uh, real. One. Fish flavoured ice cream coming up. Uh, step to it, lad. I just don't know if that's really for real. I don't know either. Okay. No, it's completely inedible. Now we need to make to a pie cast. ice cream. Even if I have one. Exactly. And to do that, we had to go home and make a pie. Uh, what about a rhubarb ice cream? Does he? Why not? Hello. Ah, more ice cream. Here's one solid citizen who actually cares about the well-being of a public servant. What flavour's this? Fish. Ugh! I reckon it's off. Or it's been stored next to rotting shellfish. But it, it, it's still rather sweet. Mmm. It grows on you. Yeah. Alright, All right, let's, go, let's go back home. Make a pie ice cream. Yeah. As you can see, there are different options. Kidney, strawberry rhubarb and apple crisp. Which one do you want the gift of the constable? Strawberry rhubarb. That'll be interesting. Then, we need to make a deep fried ice cream and I think that's where we get the achievement. Hmm. Yeah. So if we give him a normal pie ice cream, then bake another one, then Go and deep fry it then, make it into an ice cream. No, you only can do it one at a time. Oh. Oh. Uh, could you hang on the... We'll be uh, right back. 
Uh, could you hang on a minute? We are back. Yep. <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience. Guys, we are... We apologise. Now. Uh, Mick, you, you could only, um, make one at a time. Well, so do, do I... you have to... Yes, to and fro again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why can't I just carry everything in one? I don't know. The game's not designed. Hang on, whilst we're here, oh, never mind, you're leaving. <sighs> just for God's sake, I mean. You ready to go? <laughs> You're not happy, I mean... are you? Of course not! Because <laughs> you had to tell me every design! Every downforce to this game now! <laughs> At the last minute! <laughs> well... <sighs> now, now we're gonna put the pie. Can you actually put a balloon in there? I don't pie know. and ice cream, two great tastes. Uh, that should work out splendidly. But first, let's give this to the constable first, then we try the balloon. Balloon flavoured ice cream. I don't know if it. I don't know. Let's just try then. I don't know if it's physically possible. Enemy down! Mm. Shut up! Be quiet, Major Crumb. You're picking on him for a long while. To and fro. To and fro! That's all I'll have to do! Oh dear. Hello. Yeah, we've got some more stuff for you. Yes, yes. Ah, more ice cream. Here's one solid citizen who actually cares about the well-being of a public servant. What flavour's this? Rhubarb. My, my, what an interesting flavour. It's like a, a hot pastry right out of the oven, but, you know, uh, cold. Mmm. Mmm. He likes it. Think one more, then that's it. Right, go home. Yeah. Lost track of the directions, that's all. No, it's okay, but why can't we go in through the front door? Oh, the cows are escaped. Cow. Oh, God, the cow. Hi. What next? Uh, try kidney. Very well. And deep, and deep fry it. Uh, oh no, 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 no! Make it into a kidney ice cream and deep fry the ice cream. Well, that will melt the ice cream, would it? Well, I've seen the video, and one of the achievement, it doesn't. It just deep fries the whole thing. Just trust me, Mickey. Uh, okay, I trust you on that. So you have to go through the back way now into the house. Yeah, because of the plastic cow. Cows, you mean? Whatever. Do you fancy a cold grommet? That was quick. Yeah, because they say the same thing. I've seen that before. Alright. Now to deep fry it. Yeah, I'm going. Crying out loud. See, you can. Let's see. See, oh. you can. Now let's give that deep fry, deep fry uh, one to Constable right. Dibbins. Constable Dibbins. Right. Yeah. That's a price it didn't even melt. 
Yep. And I think this is the last ice cream I'm going to be giving to him, I think. Not sure, though. Hello. Ah! More ice cream! Here's one solid citizen who actually cares about the well-being of a public servant. What flavour's this? Deep fried ice cream. I've never had anything quite like this. It's everything I love about a good crisp, but in a cold, creamy package. Yeah. Good heavens. Ooh. I've eaten oh, quite a lot of the cold stuff. How many ice cream cones have you given me? Uh, lost count I don't actually. feel so well. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> let's, run, let's go away. Let's go home and see if we... Uh, so we'll make yeah, a... yeah. Let's go home. <laughs> and I think we need to make a potato pie. Uh, yes, yes. And see if, we... and see if Monty likes it. Well, we have to make adjustments first. No, I thought... Oh yeah, I thought no, like give it to him, like see if we, if he likes it, you know. There we go. Now we head to the fair. Again. I feel bad for PC Gibbons. He's ill now. Well, at least I don't have to well, travel back and forth now. Yeah. Anyway, I don't really Let's give him the pie. Oh, we didn't test the balloon yet for the ice cream. Let's give him after this. For the ice cream machine. All right. This doesn't look immediately disgusting. Try it, Monty. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there, there is uh, something here that isn't immediately foul. A faint hint of a taste of something that sparks, uh, dare I say, a not totally unpleasant memory. It's the unmistakable taste of mushy potato, which, in and of itself, is delicate and unique. Right. Mm. Yeah, it's not quite there yet. So, take it back, and perhaps you can improve. Although, as a See? canine pilot, so it's going in the right direction. I imagine that was no I told doubt you need to your make best adjustments. attempt. <laughs> An accident, perhaps. Yeah. And also, oh, no cream. No a la mode, even. Uh, clearly not a serious entry, after all. Well, well, but at least it's a start. Yeah. Anyway, should we try that balloon thing whilst we discussed? Now. Hello, Gromit. Having a grand day out? I don't think our patented flavor scanner is big enough for a balloon, lad. We'll have to upgrade it when we make a Mark II version. Oh no, Take we can't. Mark II version? But. No, then, um. Let's deep for. Oh, no, I think we. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah the fish ice cream. Whatever you like, Gromit. Oh, sh are we gonna give Muzzle the ice cream? Because we're gonna do it different ways. I don't care, but I'm going one way. Come on, McBusket! Use your noodle! <laughs> oh, it looks like he's recorded from the fun pin. <laughs> I bet he's still got that scar on his head, though, still. Don't doubt he might still.
Let's give this to him. Yeah. Oh. This looks a bit different. A familiar, flaky crust. My, my, my. Oh, could it be? Ooh. 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 Taste. Oh. Mm. oh, yes, this is more like it. What a belter this one is. Oh, a crisp outside with a warm potato inside. Oh, this takes me Ooh. back to my days as a boy. But, but it, it, it's still missing something. Some key flavour from it past. Now, oh, I've still, had a thought. I'll, I'll hold on to your entry I as you provisional think for now. If you think of something to give it we that a new, je ne sais We invented what, a new pie. I'll come back and I'll consider yeah. it. Uh, till then, the competition... I'll say it in a minute when you give, the, give him the ice cream. Anyway, let's do this. Ah, a new addition to your shocking previous entry. I have no doubt that you almost certainly cheated, but without actual proof. I'll have to let that pass. Let's see how you did. Why, uh, this is, uh, yeah. That's resplendent. I've never tasted a pie quite like this. A savoury crust enhanced by a one-of-a-kind flavour, if I am not mistaken, of lightly battered cod. Oh, yes. Your entry triggers deep, unhappy memories. Oh, I can see myself as a slip of a lad. Behind the counter in my mother's chippy. I'm the happiest we invented a fish and chips pie. Eating complimentary yeah. portions of freshly fried milk. Imagine that in fish and chip chips. shops. Yeah, just imagine that. Stupendous. How you did it, Doug, Fish and chip pie. Know. I would buy but that. You would you, Mickey? Congratulations. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> You're the first beast to become the master of ceremonies of the pie eating contest. I'll be meeting you on Ooh. stage then. Time to right. get this pie eating contest underway. Well, we will. Once we get something else. Let's go onto the stage. Pass on the stuff. Yeah, let's grab it. Take that. Gather round, ladies and gentlemen, gather round. Our first order of business is to celebrate this fine figure of a dog as winner of the pie baking contest. That's a boy, Chuck. I knew you could do it. Hey, <laughs> we did good. And to honour this achievement, Fido here will preside as master of ceremonies of the pie eating contest oh. to commence shortly. I'm here. The major doesn't stand a chance. Ha! I once ate a kidney pie the size of a Shetland pony, and I had room oh. for dessert and coffee. Uh, really? Your starter's pistol, oh. doggo. And now, I'd just like to say a few words. Where are me blinking notes? One well, they must have blown away. Be yeah. <laughs> they were up here just a minute ago. No, there was a gust of wind out there on. They must have took them up somewhere. <laughs> it's not every day that tragedy strikes a helpless town like this. But I'm most honoured to be here in your moments of need to help you all collect enough funds to rebuild the orphanage. Um, uh, that is, uh, the orphanage for lost dogs. And I'm delighted to say that I haven't seen such an outpouring of charitable giving among fair goers since, well, since, um, uh, uh, since uh, uh, the great Lancashire earthquake of, uh, Lancashire. oh, let me see now, uh, uh, some, uh, yes, some years ago. I don't remember hearing about that. Ah, uh, oh, dreadful it was. When was that? Teapots tossed oh, no. from their cosies. Then we thought this. Shaken right out of their faces. Me Most dreadful indeed. So keep I up hate the good speech. work here I today. I hate board and speeches. Sure to spend, spend, spend as our wonderful attractions, as it's all in I such a very, very. What's the third come of yawned? Now, without further ado. 
uh, Colonel Crumbs and uh, Mrs. Gobbledygook uh, will go head to head in the pie eating contest. Now, Mutt, pull the trigger. Thank oh, God it's over. That. There we go, they're off. Save the dog's help. Inside? Inside mm. what? Well, I saw the last slip of paper and Duncan was was having it. You're right! And that's all that's that machine there. Do you want to have a go on that? What Duncan's at? Yeah. Oh, just look at her. Loitering around that monkey muscle. Ah, there is um achievement a for um for something, but I don't uh, do that in my games. Disgusting. Makes me so angry I could blow my top. Ooh, I'm Monty Muzzle. I'm the most charitable, sensitive gentleman there ever was. I'm a blooming hero. <laughs> Big pile of wet less, if you ask me. <laughs> He's jealous. And what do you want, Mutt? Yeah. Can't you see I'm working here? She wants a sensitive man, does she? Well, that's what Miss Flit will be getting. I'm composing her a poem. Near finished, poem. too, except for the last line. Got the whole thing memorized, even. I just cannot write the ending. Dearest Felicity. Your eyes are as deep you've seen, as the Mickey, have you seen the achievement of breaking breaking Duncan's heart? Yeah. Rock. Please don't do that. Uh, please don't do that. Because it sounds like you're being ungrateful to Duncan with this kit. Look at me. Talking to your dog. Because I never I never do that. I only get the um puppy and that's it. Uh, all right, all right, Oliver. I won't. I won't. Good. Right. Speaking of which, let's have a go at that that, that fortune cookie I've been thingy. Down line after line to try to finish my poem. Luckily, your owner had this useless bit of onion skin where I could gather my thoughts. One stroke of brilliance is all it will take to transform her into a hen's loving honey. Let's have a go at that. Your life with less strife. Hmm. What does it say? Yours could be mistaken for a slippery penguin. Oh, what kind of a fortune rubbish. is that? Let's have a look at the mechanism around the back. A chicken. chicken? All right, yeah, create a clairvoyant codfish. Let's see what you have to see. <laughs> Cravens, what a bunch of rubbish. What did he put? Hmm. Let, let us have a read. Oh, I see. Right, we can soon Let's fix just that. Change it up a bit. Yeah, think? let's do it. Yeah, do it. Let's see if this fortune's got anything useful for my. Oh, I like the fortune cookies. I do. Yeah, me too. Mistaken for pirate's gold. Ah, that's no half bad, that is. I just work. I'm a blinking genius, I am. No need for these rotten lines. I've got a perfect one right here. <laughs> there we go. We got it. Yep, the last one. Hello there, Felicity. Oh, hello, Duncan. You look ravishing today. Why, thank you, Duncan. In fact, I've written you a poem in honour of your astounding beauty. What? You've written a poem? Every last word. Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Let's hear it, then. <clears throat> yes, let's. Dearest Felicity, your eyes are as deep 
as the murkiest loch. Your teeth are as straight as Blackpool rock. Your haunches are sturdy, your bearing is bold, and your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. I, I don't know what to say. Oh. You noticed my hair. I did. Oh, Duncan, who could have guessed you're so sensitive and attentive to detail? Aye, my rugged Highland handsomeness may fool some, but inside, I'm nothing more than a caring and loving lamb. Come here, my little sugar plum fairy. Caring and loving lamb that's been rolling around in the barnyard too long, if my nose isn't uh. mistaken. Oh, that's just my unique musk. Let's go down and stare longingly into each other's eyes. No, oh, look at that romantic couple. Yeah. Inside no, muzzle. Muzzler? The ride? So... Don't tell me they're... They're inside that. It means these three dogs are... Trapped inside the muzzler. We need to go and have a look. Go. Yeah. Pretend we're, que pretend we're queuing. So that works. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Hello? Oh god. Rin oh no. I knew he was it. I knew something wasn't first right with him. Takes oh, in three God. homeless hounds. Do you remember that smirk when we first met him? Yeah. That was an evil <laughs> smirk. <laughs> and now I've trapped me a tricksy little trespasser. Now listen here, Mutt. Them for... I built this fair up from the sweat of my brow and a pile of scrap. And if you think I'm going to let a molly-coddled mongrel chuck a spanner in the works, you don't know Monty Muzzle. Oh. Aye, oh. your time on wheel comes soon enough. And being man's best friend, you wouldn't want to stop the ride and disappoint your punters now, would you? But until it's your turn... A key! Blinking well, stay put. We need a key. Oh, what? No. Oh, and don't start whining and yelping for help. You'll have uh, my security system to deal with if you don't keep the noise down. Mickey, I've got an idea. Really? A chicken? I've got an idea. What? The dog the dog next to us faints when he when he hears like big bangs and stuff and Prince Prince would be dead. Yeah. Play the dead, huh? The starting pistol. I, I get it, Oliver, I get it now. We'll just use it. I mean, he's plain now, dead. Now we can use that cup. Yeah. What's going on here? What's all the racket about? Oh, another blinking dead dog. The workshire whelp hadn't even been for walkies yet. <laughs> Pity. Forward. Get yeah. it! Oh, get off me, you filthy beast! Oh, oh. That'll be an extra few hours pulling duty for you. No more out of you. Ooh. Good boy! That wasn't even in its mouth before. Good dog! Yeah, but it wasn't even in its mouth. Not that, in that one, one clear moments ago. I know. But he's a good dog. We'll give yeah, him a but... bag for that. Yeah, but first... Yeah. Sorry, mate. 
Yoink. Right, now we can get out, but first we need to sort out that chicken. Yeah. The bird seed. Mm, no, I can't do that from here. No, we're going to do it when we get out. Uh, yeah, there we go. Not a problem. Hey, what's that? Wait, is that Preston dog food? Another Easter egg. From what? From the close shave. Yeah. Uh, you better not get. You better not get too close. You chick chick. Chick chick. Ah, ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh. We'll go up. Right. I forgot about that. Whoa. Ooh. So this machine's but is powered by dog power. Yeah. Anyway, here, chick, chick, chick. Have some seeds. Food. There you go. Now we can explore around properly. Yeah. There's some grease over there. Yeah. Twitch. Twitch. Oh, poor thing. Well, I'll get you out, mate. Yeah. There's a spanner there. Ah, I know exactly what we can use it for. But first, let's pick up the grease as well. There's some fortune cookies as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you were trapped with this, Mickey, would you grab the whole sack and hide it somewhere? Like hell, I will. Yeah, you found like a great big sack if you're trapped in this situation. Hide it, and when the fairs moved on, you come back and find it, and then you can take it home. Have a bone. It's a nice bone for you. It's not really. Oi! We're slowing down. Constable? What's he doing here? It's not fit for service. Blinking engine must have um died again. Oh, good dog. Good dog. There we go. He's a smart Ooh. dog. That he's a smart dog. That one there on the um, wheel. Yeah. How are we gonna get? We need to get Twitch out. The cookie. I know. Throw it into his cage. Yes. And then we need to grab the spider back. Yes. Oh. oh. He's got a strong nose, you can even smell it underground. Got a there, he goes. Nose. there he is. Twitch. Now we need to get that spanner back first. Oh. So grab another fortune cookie and throw it near the hole. Not into right. not into uh, not into the cage. You have to grab another one. I can't believe I forgot, forgot about that. Right, where Twitch is, put right. it down to the hole. Yeah, and then you can grab that spanner. Oh, yeah, of course. There he is, right on cue. Hmm. And quick before he grabs, grabs it. But no. I've got a love. But gotta love that nose. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's go up. And I saw, saw, I saw a ladder. There it is. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah, let's go up. Oh, goodness, where are you? Up. Ooh. Whoa! Yeah. That's a long way down. 
I think we can use that spanner for the eight, that thing there, Mickey, on the on that vent. Now, who was Twitch? <gasps> yes, he can fit through there and get help. Yes, we can actually. Come here, you. <laughs> oh. Oh. I know exactly what we'll need. Oh yeah, the grease. He won't like it. No, he doesn't. No. Sorry, Twitch, we'll but clean you the, later. But it's for the greater good. Yeah, we'll give him a bath later, won't we? Yeah. Oh, oh hello, Twitch. Uh, Gromit was looking for you. Enjoying the fair? Oh, I see. You'd like to have a go on the ride? Well, I don't know. Where the heck's uh, Gromit? He should be showing you around. Uh, no. uh, well, uh, he's on the very I suppose voice. I can take a yeah. break. Let's go. I don't know if they let dogs on board, Twitch. Steady he's on. I know he's it's not fair, Twitch, but we can always ask. <laughs> Easy there, boy. Got quite a bit of strength for a little fella. Thinking Nora. You mean He's discovered now. Gromit's inside the ride. What happened, lad? Monty Muzzle? Yeah, he threw us in there. Heavens above. Uh, Twitch, you better stay out of sight. I've got to see about getting Mr. Muzzle to shut down his ride. Okay right, then. Let's go, uh, let's go talk to him. Um. There's no cut there. That blooming Bobby has been up there for an hour or more. <laughs> Another off. glitch. Says he's carrying yeah. an inspection, but he won't find anything untoward on any of my rides. Oh, I know how to get him off. On board here. Oh, uh, exactly. Uh, uh, We're going to go to that machine. And what's that yeah, no. supposed to mean? No, uh, nothing. Your rides had a spot of mechanical trouble, I see. Oh, no, no, that, 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 that's nothing. Um, purely cosmetic. Um, the uh, um, uh, inner mechanics still run like clockwork. Oh, oh I really? I had to institute a really? weight limit, though. I don't want any heavy hands bringing things to a halt. No. Oh, I've got an idea not. for that. Right, let's go to that machine first. One last bite, and another pie is gone by Gabbily. Mm -hmm. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned from it. Right, let's go. Well, I wonder what else is Your here. hair could be mistaken for pirate oh. gold. Don't use that well, one. Uh, perhaps this one isn't for me. Alright, alright. There's one more. There's one more. Which is? We go back to the machine and there's one more note. Alright. The would be chomping champion continues to shovel pie down. Or at least ma Major Crumb is being quiet. Met his match in Vinny's, the Wonder Nosher. Your home smells of a patch of mold. We oh. it, I know, but it's not that bad. Right, let's go. Let's go to the stage. The contest hasn't ended yet. Why no? It's a last man <clears throat> woman standing competition. Oh. Mm -hmm. Who's winning? <clears throat> As if you had to ask, ma'am. <laughs> By my count, the current leader by a thick crust is Mrs. Gabberly. Hogwash! Woohoo! Mmm! And I'm relishing every bite! Uh, I'm just getting warmed up! We'll see about that. Mr. Wallace, would you mind bringing Paneer this slip of paper here when you've a moment? Right, oh. Oh, well. oh, there's pants. There's pants down there. Ooh. Oh well, let's put them with the others anyway. Tidy oh, it up. Look at these. I wonder, I wonder who ate those. 
I don't know, but um, let's pull next Go to the other pile. Now, putting away pies as if they haven't eaten for a week. Oh, the rest of me finished pies. The rest? Oh. oh, my stomach told me I'd got through more than just these appetizers here. And oh. Major Crumb has just learned that Mrs. Gabberley is Oh, yeah, we need to give him those notes. Yeah. But not the not golden hair. To tickety boo right now. Right. I, I think I might have been out by the enemy. And it seems no, you're missing defeat now, Major. Up, though he's only <laughs> nine pies behind. Nine? That's it. I capitulate. I surrender. Hoist the white napkin of chronic pie fatigue. Yep. When he's the winner. Out goes the major. Out for the count. At a boy, Mrs. Gabberley. Congratulations. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you like pies, Paneer's Purveyors of Peculiar Produce is open daily for all of your baking and pie-eating needs. I can't believe she beat me. I'll never be able to show my face in the officer's mess again. Never mind, Major Crump. Hmm. Guzzled gamely. Perhaps you just bit off a bit more than you could chew. Perhaps a man must know his limits. <sighs> the only thing that can lift my spirits now is a spin on that RAF ride, if you'll excuse me. Oh, I must have put on five stone. Poor Major. Dear. Let's go deliver those notes. Hello, Wallace. Yes, hello. Uh... The mold. Uh, a note, Mr. Paneer. Your home smells of a patch of mold? Hey, Mr. Paneer, you've clearly never been to the house of Gabberley, and now you never will. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Um, I think the victory note next. And remember, whether you want pakora, pies, puddings, or pomegranates, they're all available at Hanier's Peculiar Produce, just two minutes' walk from this fairground. Uh, a note, Mr. Pinier. Your duty mm. is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Hmm. That's odd. Stop the ride! That's enough. Suppose I'd better get back to the station. Duty calls. Good, he's off now. And the last... And Edwina's note. Excuse me, Pinea. Mrs. Gabberly wanted me to give you this. Ah, must be a message to read out for the fair. <clears throat> All attendants are invited to Vinnie Gabberly's victory celebration to be held later this evening at the house of Gabberly. Major Crumb is invited only if humbled by defeat. How could I have let this happen? Disgraced on the field of battle. <laughs> no, dear, no. Uh, let's go. Uh, yeah. Let's see if Major Crumb can fit on that ride. I'm going the wrong way. I was oh, he's too heavy. Yeah. Oh, just over our limit, I'm afraid, Corporal Crumb. You must have piled on pounds since then. Yeah. Yeah. Lincoln contest, and I'm a major, don't you know? Aye, a major liability. So, you're banned, for safety's sake. Perhaps go for a jog or summit, and work off some of that extra weight. I see. Hello. I need the balloons. Peculiar produce for all your favorite foodstuffs. I can just say it's a town. Oh, well, there's another. There's a, oh, yeah. Well, there's another achievement as well in town. Ah, uh, yes. I know exactly what you mean, Oliver. Well, let's I go into town. Off the line, but... 
Yeah, but we need to find a way to get the major wobble. Get into a limit. Okay. Well. From sweet to savory, pickle to preserve, and fresh to frozen, Vanier's peculiar produce has it all. Plus, we also sell umbrellas, beach balls, indoor barbecue equipment, and a full range of domestic fire extinguishers. How much fire extinguishers in the shop? Not enough, really. Who would want to sell fire extinguishers? Appetite, probably possessed by a parasite or two. Family of tapeworms living inside what, I shop for sell fire extinguishers? And now really? you can't ride your favorite ride. Oh, what a pity. Over the limit, I'm afraid. Bureaucratic nonsense. Never used to fret about namby-pamby weight restrictions in the army. We'd cram 20 men in a truck, three on a bicycle, five in a bunk. But you're only slightly too heavy, Major. Yes, so I'll stand here till I've dropped the weight. With a finely tuned metabolism like mine, I'll burn it off in a few short hours. Let's have a look. Ah. Yeah. Why not? Just a thing. Oh yeah, so do I. No, oh, just what we needed. Ah, uh, yes. A, a balloon. Always a good for a lift. So we need to go to the bin first. Mm, right. Heavens above, Norbury Wait. Blue. Norbury Blue. Uh, ah, Wallace. Jeez. Uh, now I'm feeling sick. I'm, I'm all right. Well, should we tell the customer about what's happened? Good day, Wallace. He might What's not believe us. Bins? Yes, Wallace, what is it? I need to report a crime, a kidnapping, foul play at the fair. Whoa, slow down there, Wallace. That's a very serious allegation. Now, carry on. What happened at the fair exactly? It's Mr. Muzzle. He's a wolf in dog's clothing. I mean a sheep. He's sheepnapped Gromit. I mean dognap. He trapped him inside his ride he has. Trapped your grommet? Inside the ride that I just spent hours inspecting? And why would he do something like that? Well, he... Uh, 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 I couldn't he... say for sure. So, you mean to tell me that a man has gone out of his way to construct an elaborate fundraising event for the sole purpose of kidnapping your pooch? Yes. Uh, no. Mr. Wallace. You are aware that fabricating evidence and making malicious allegations is against the law? Yes, but... Then you ought to put a sock in it while you still can. He doesn't believe us. <sighs> typical. Utterly typical. Well, I think you can show Wallace who's in the jail. You can get a different reaction from him, from Gromit. Oh. Uh. oh dear, let's go. Let's go and let's yeah, get that going to Major. Well, it still yeah. serves them right, though. Yeah. I wonder how long I'm going to be in jail for. Weeks, I bet. Well, let's give them that balloon to balloon. <laughs> And remember, Wait. whether you want pakora, pies, puddings, or pomegranates, they're all available at Hania's Peculiar Produce, just so two long. minutes walk from this oh. campground. Must have lost track of the time. No. Oh. Yes, we will give Major Crumb his balloon, but I'm afraid that I'll have to wait until next time. Oh, dear. I'm well, sorry, but time's oh, time, right. really. All right. But if you enjoyed it, nevertheless, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel. Produce, Be quiet, Mr. Fedea. And some you probably never knew I know. I know where we can stop. Do you right? <laughs> I know. Let's go into town. It'll be quieter.
It'll be quieter. There we go, much quieter. <sighs> Better. No, in no interruptions. As I was saying, if you enjoyed this video, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn the notifications bell on, and leave a comment down below, and the link to the games will be in the description below. And go subscribe to my friend Oliver Featherwing's channel and check out his greatest content. So, see you in part 3 everyone. Bye! Bye.